I've been making awnings for 33 years, but my business has only been in business for 17 years now. Six years ago, I really needed something different to do with my time. So uh, I just told everybody at work that I was going to build a submarine. Everybody just stopped working and looked at me like I was crazy. And then one of my employees, Russ, said, I'm in. So we decided the only way to make this dome is by pouring a mold and making it. We looked at thermal forming, and because of the complex curves in the dome, that wasn't an option. So we decided to hand make a mold. We spent four years making it, making the mold and pouring the dome. And it turned out really, really good being handmade, but CATI will come in and make it perfectly smooth and distortion free, and I'm excited about that. So with the dome, it was uh, manufactured with a handmade process. So it has a few little imperfections that are going to affect uh, visibility once the dome is in the water. So the goal is to remove those imperfections, but we don't want to remove uh, a lot of material and affect the strength of the dome. So with 3D scanning, we can come in, we can grab that imperfect uh, raw data of the dome, and within software we can fit a perfect curve to it that will uh, eliminate those visual effects once we get it in the water and use that perfect surface model to resurface via CNC milling and get a much nicer visibility of the dome once it's uh, in the water. We kind of have a few different workflows. Um, one being reverse engineering where you don't have the CAD data for the actual model or the part itself, so we'll take that, scan it, and we're able to provide customers with a variety of files, whether it be a dumb solid or a full parametric model, which will uh, allow you to make changes to it. Um, the second one is you know, quality control, right? Um, so a lot of customers will come to us, they have the CAD data, they have the model, and they want us to kind of do a scan just so they can check for dimensional accuracy, right? Um, so, but this project is actually a little bit of both. They don't have the, the CAD data for the, the submarine that we're scanning, so we're gonna be able to provide them with that. Uh, and then they're also gonna be using that for dimensional accuracy so they can get the dome uh, machined. So with scanning the hull, we want to be able to do a weight balancing application. So we create this 3D model. Joe and his team are going to be able to simulate where the center of mass is going to be when they add in passengers and uh, any cargo and see if they need to rebalance the weight at all before they get in the water and then we start tipping over one way or the other. We're usually the last option that customers have tried everything to do by hand or manual methods. And when they finally come to us, it's, it's almost this like sigh of relief that, oh, finally this is going to work and it's going to work really Really, really well. The goal when we get done with this prototype is to manufacture them and sell them to the public so other people can enjoy and see the excitement that we have. We're really here to help customers solve their most complex manufacturing issues. Being able to be that kind of knight in shining armor showing up and fixing all the problems is, is a very uh, rewarding experience.